snowblower had been working great, blower had been working great, the engine had been working great, but now as you can tell where it stopped right here, um, the drive shaft that comes up to the engine is not turning. The coupler that connects the engine is turning, but the shaft itself is not turning, therefore nothing works. No hydraulics, no uh, forward backward. Um, so we have the four wheeler to do two things. One, uh, move the snow that I've already been moving, and number two, to pull this into the garage. So hopefully later on this afternoon or something, I think I'm gonna have to pop the whole engine off the top so I can get to that coupler and visually see that coupler and uh, go from there. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I believe I am all set to work on the tractor. As you can see behind me here, I used some tarps to try and drape over the top. I have this little way to get in right here. And you can see I already dropped a few things here. And I did that um, without the tarp. I was like, man, this is really cold. So I do have the heater on that side and that side is all closed. And my goal here is to get, I'm gonna call it the drive shaft. The shaft that comes from the engine going back, this side of the drive shaft is wrecked. So my goal is to get the drive shaft out um, without having to take off the engine. All right, so this, this arm here came down, which was attached right here, and then it's attached to this that goes that way and then this one goes to the back what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this part here off and let me show you why all right so now under the tractor you have this guy going let's see right here this guy right here that's the guy I'm trying to get off so I can drop let's see if I can get the light to shine up there That bar up there. She's attached in the back there by the fan. So we have two bolts to get out there, then that fan will come down. And then I think if I get rid of this guy that I'm hitting with the light, the whole thing will drop out so I won't have to take off the front of the engine. That or the front to take off the engine to pull it out the front. So that's the ultimate goal here. You can sort of see the one bottom hole there on the fan. And I might be getting a little discouraged in that i not seen how to take this out without the engine removed. But I'm gonna try one more thing in. I'm gonna try and remove the fan, which give me about maybe two inches to go back and forth to see if that helps to get off this coupler right here. Okay, the fan blade is off. And so it was way, this thing is up, down, low, left, up, high, right. I can't even put it back the way it was. That's how I got it off there. And then this side is sort of springy. All right. So here's the fan belt, fan, not fan belt, fan. Have that off, that looks good. They had said to replace it if it had any dings. I don't see any dings on it. Hey guys, I got this last, I don't know, hopefully you can see it. I used this tool here. It's got the prongs on the end. And that is how I got this guy loose. Then the washer. And now it should just slide off, but 
This is the bad side. Look at all that dirt coming out of there. So no, probably no wonder why that went. And this thing here that was supposed to be this rubber gasket cover, I ripped it some, but it was not in good shape before I ripped it. Oh, man. But, ooh, ooh, ooh. The whole thing came off the shaft. Well, that's good. So right up here, this this guy is still on here yet. So I don't. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, it'll be nice if he can just slide off. Oh no, he doesn't want to slide off. There's gotta be something else up there. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, I'll do a little recap of where I'm at so far. First, the, I did not get the shaft out. Everything's off the ends of the shaft, but I cannot seem to find the way to turn the shaft, to slide it a little bit, to shimmy it out. So I, I'm gonna do some maybe YouTube search, and then I, otherwise I'll just have to wait until um, Service Motors is open and then I'll maybe they have an idea to get it out. If I show you what here, I'll show you what I have here so far on the bench here. So this is the one that is, has a spring in it. And and this is the part that's closest to the back of the tractor. And this is the good one here. And then there's there's four little little balls. Those four little balls go into these little holes. So there's four little holes. And then here was that little guy that held on, held this guy on. And then this is the good rubber coupler that went over the top here to make sure no bad stuff was in there. And the fan was also at that end. But now if I get back, get over to this side over here, here is that coupler. So if you compare that coupler to this coupler, you can see it's missing the whole top end. And who knows, dirt probably got in there. So that's that. And then, the, yeah, and this, and this didn't even come out. So at the moment, probably need that new as well so I guess YouTube how to try to get that shaft out it'd be really a bummer if I went all the way that far and I you know got a what a three-quarter inch shaft that I can't get out because it can't tilt it enough just to just shimmy out so we'll see um, I bet Parts aren't going to be here for another four or five days anyways, but I still need to order the shaft yet as well. So that's going to be probably some more days after that um, to allow me to try and figure out how to get the shaft out. So I guess that's where we're going to end it for now. Um, I'm going to have to find some stuff to like clean my hands, I guess. My hands feel a little dirty. So... Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted on if I get that shaft out without removing the engine yet, which I'm thinking it's still a possibility yet. So we'll see. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.